Greetings and welcome to a prayerful pause. My name is Nancy Woodworth Hill and tonight we are going to explore the Buddhist practice of loving kindness. It's a practice to cultivate compassion and true happiness. So get comfortable. Sit or lie down on your back. Um, your eyes could be open if you'd like, kind of open softly or closed. And we're going to do one phrase at a time and in a comfortable pace. If you find your attention wandering, let go and begin again. Now there's multiple wordings for these, this uh, practice. A uh, number of variations. It could be on about being safe or free from danger, being happy, healthy, peaceful, live with ease. There's a number of practices. So here's one that I've chosen for us. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now then, think of someone who has been good or kind to you, or someone who inspires you. Vision them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now choose someone who's hurting or having a difficult time. Envision them. Wrap them in your words. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now choose someone that you might encounter now and then. You may not know them or their name. Uh, it could be someone walking the dog in your neighborhood or a teller at the bank or some of the grocery store you've interacted with before. Hold them in your mind. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now choose someone who has been difficult for you in your life, but don't choose the most difficult person to begin with. Choose someone with whom you've had a little bit of conflict or a little bit afraid, relationship isn't quite what you'd like. And offer them loving kindness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And finally, offer loving kindness to all beings everywhere, all people, all creatures, seen and unseen, near and far. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I have heard this practice done with these um, statements said um, two or three times for each of the categories that we went through. And you should know a couple of things. The phrase, may I, is a sense of a generous blessing, not a pleading. And, you know, it's possible to send loving kindness to someone that, without liking them. The power in this practice is to bring a more balanced and compassionate view of ourselves and of others. So that's why we do it, to increase our compassion to increase an awareness of how our lives are linked because we all share a desire for safety and for happiness and for healthiness and not suffering and to live with ease. Loving kindness is an ability, not a feeling. So let's practice a little bit again. Take a breath. Be comfortable. Eyes shut if you'd like. And begin with yourself. 
May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. To someone who has been good or kind to you. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Someone who is hurting or having a difficult time. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Someone you encounter now and then again. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. A person with whom you have a bit of difficulty. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And finally, offer loving kindness to all beings. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Go in peace.